were you? Did you tweak an ankle? Did what, what happened? That, yeah. that? No, to be honest, uh, I just went up for a shot, uh, my regular post up, and uh, I think it was Cam and uh, yeah, Cam Johnson went underneath me a little bit, and my just stepped on his foot and rolled my ankle a little bit. Uh, kept playing. Uh, just, nah, it was nothing serious. Uh, it was available for the second half. Just the decision was made to keep me out. Yeah. So basically, just the game role. because the game was what it was. There's Correct. no need. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, to come back on a back-to-back -back road home, you know, it's always a little bit tough. This is a, a, a game where teams in this position might just kind of take off. What does it say about you guys that you're able to kind of focus, come out right away, and, and kind of like not let up and keep building the lead throughout? Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, this game like said a lot about us, you know. Um, not an easy game to get like going mentally, um, but uh, you have to give credit to Joe and the coaching staff for getting us ready. Um, you know, as players, we kind of like, okay, most likely we're gonna win, especially at home. You know, you can have those kind of thoughts, but I think uh, Joe did a really good job of getting everybody like ready for the game, and we came out and and we we right away we just uh, uh, with our foot on the on the gas and 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 didn't let up and played great defense, great communication. Uh, maybe made the game a little bit like boring for the fans <laughs> because we went up so you know so many points early on, but. Uh, but I think the fans have to appreciate that kind of game also that we're just uh, we're just you know stepping on those guys and, and, and not letting up. And speaking of Joe, it's his hundredth win as a coach um, in a season and a half. So I mean I know you've only been here for the half, yeah. but um, just impressions of him throughout this point. I mean I don't want to I want to say as compared to thing you know in the past, but like you've been around a little yeah. bit. Uh, just what are you, what are your kind of thoughts? I think. Um, just seeing how like uh, people view him maybe from the outside a little bit I think he's he's very underrated like uh, people don't appreciate who who he is and how he coaches uh, because he's very young you can always like blame it on him and stuff like that um, but uh, but he's very underrated as a coach and very underrated and and different and 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 yeah I think I think I think people don't see who who he really is and how he coaches and 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 it's easy to not give him the credit because of the talent that we have, no. But uh, but he deserves a lot of credit. He does deserve a lot of credit, and the rest of the coaching staff also deserves a lot of credit. Uh, Christoph, it's it's always easy to have fun when you blow teams out, but you seem like you've been smiling ever since you got to Boston. Joe, during a recent game, said he came in the huddle and told some jokes in the third quarter when you guys are down, encouraged you guys to play free, have some fun. How much fun are you guys having this season with the balance of like yeah. obviously you're trying to stay competitive, but like. You're obviously new to this team. Just how fun has it been to be part of this group and uh, on this run? No, definitely. And it made sense because we're like, whenever we're not maybe like just running through the other team, we're almost like, ah, oh, like this is a close, like this is a game, you know? Like we're like, we kind of like, our energy is a little bit down. And, and I think at that moment it made sense for us to be like, yo, this, this is basketball. We're not going to be perfect every game. We're not going to, you know, be up all the time. And, and, and so it made sense to just ease up the mood and just kind of go out there, have fun, play hard, and 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 and, and so yeah, him making. I, I don't remember the joke. I was like a little bit far away, I didn't hear, but but he was he, he tried something and just to ease up the mood a little bit, um, and and that's what we needed at that moment. You know, we came out. I think it was a Washington game, right? And we we played much better second half. Um, so yeah, it's. I think it's. Um, we always have to try to put things in perspective where. Uh, <coughs> we're not supposed to, you know, be up all the time and, and just win easy. There's going to be tough games and tough games against teams that are not uh, maybe uh, don't like um, like uh, they're not our equals, no record-wise or anything like that. So it's it's on us to to come every game and, and prove it like we did tonight. Do you uh, do you throw any jokes around? Or do you leave that to Joe? I leave it to Joe. <laughs> Christoph, so when you're as good as you guys have been in the first half, Joe's talked about holding yourselves to a high standard, being tough on yourself. What things do you look at for the second half and st say, we still need to improve at this, we still got to be better at that? Like, yeah. how do you, you know, when you're this good, still find ways to improve? That's a good question. Um, I think, yeah, we, we, 
I think like what happens to us, it's just like human nature. You know, we, we, we go up in the first half, we're number one, like first and second quarter, I think. Uh, and then we're 20th in the third and fourth, let's say. Yeah? I don't know the ex exact the numbers, but uh, it's just natural. You know, you go up and it's, it's, it's tough to have that. Like we always say, oh, you want to have the killer instinct and just go out there and just keep like, yeah, it's, it's easier said than done. You know, it's all five guys need to be connected. And, and whenever there is a like big game, big moments, we're, of course, we are locked in and we're doing 100% of what we need to do. Uh, but uh, tonight was actually a, a good like step forward for us. You know, we, we didn't let up at any moment. All the guys I think uh, uh, who came in like gave us something right away, and I I like that. Like we put in the rookie like Jay Walsh was in early on, like kind of just you know fresh fresh guys like early on, and and um, I think that's a good thing to do for us to kind of to keep us sharp throughout the game, and um, and 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 yeah, I think Joe is really good at like. Uh, reading those kind of things and reading also the psychology of you know the player and and, and, and making the moves like necessary for us to um, to keep playing at, at at a high level. I was going to ask what you did think of Jordan Walsh's you know first real minutes. Yeah, yeah he, I think he he will say it like he didn't have it, his best game. Uh, we I know I know him. I've seen him uh, in practice and stuff, and I know he's capable of of having a much better game. Um, but uh, you could see his potential defensively. You can see p his potential, like offensively, because of his of his body and his athleticism, and 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 what I like the most about him, he's like not afraid at all. He's go out there, shoots, be he's attack, he's uh, aggressive, attacking, and um, and if he keeps having this kind of mindset, like it's only a matter of time until he has he starts to get like consistent uh, success. Chris stops for you. Now that we are at the proverbial halfway point, I know Joe doesn't like to talk about expectations, but just what were you expecting coming in and how has the reality shaped up to that? Coming to this On team? On this team, yeah, yeah. And, and the environment and, and everything yeah. that goes along with it. Uh, now, of course, coming in, I understood, like, uh, this is, uh, like, we're a championship caliber team, you know, and, and what is expected is to win, you know. Or, or the goal is to win. Um, and and coming in here, you know, there are things that are being done differently and and at a much lev higher standard than uh, on other teams that I've been on. And, and 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 I think yeah, from from the top down, it's just a really high level organization. Um, and and us as players, we. Uh, we feel that, and we know that we have to show up every each and every night. And and yeah, I mean, there's there's like many like small things that I can point out, but overall, I would say that it's just uh, um, it's 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 been uh, I have as a, as somebody said earlier, I haven't stopped smiling. You know, being here, I just enjoy being here so much, and 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 to be in this kind of organization, um, playing for these kind of fans, it's you know, it's. It's unreal, and and yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, no, I more or less understood how how the dynamic would be. Um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think I I came in with an open mind. I'm here to like do what's do what's asked of me or what's you know uh, whatever I, I can do to help this team win and and. And that can change from game to game, things like that. So uh, I'm just uh, with an open mind and, you know, with the message that they, I'm just here to help and, and help us win. Cool. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.